Hey guys, and welcome back to Razor's Hell. Now, when we last left off, we had actually got to Alpha Bravo Chow, baby. But I have played off camera a little bit further um, through the game. In fact, I've actually completed the game. It just because I was getting really frustrated with it and I just wanted to see how long it was. Um, it's not too long, but man. Difficulty spikes. I mean, I, 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 I don't even want to, I don't even know. Especially on this last bit here. Uh, the final boss is, oh boy, it's uh, something. Um, you may also be able to tell that I'm coming down with something. Uh, the last few days I've been getting incredibly ill. Uh, I have done a COVID test, it's not that, but some kind of um, lurgy anyway. So, let's continue. Let's go. But yeah, apparently you can suck bloaters back up, which is quite interesting. Take out that defense headquarters. Without the military leaders, we'll be one step closer to the palace. Yes, we will. <sighs> Ugh, I like that. Ray's just grunts. Don't worry, a promise is a promise. You get the first shot at her. Sorry. They might hear a lot of coughing and stuff, but I'll try and keep it to a minimal. Uh, a minimum? A minimal. Uh, hello, guys. Hooray! We all like a bit of hide and seek, don't we? Well, a bit of hide and seek with some friendly slaughter. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. Didn't even see you there. Alright, not bad. Now, there are some areas coming up where we can slaughter loads of innocent civilians, but it's kind of pointless in a lot of ways. I mean, it's sort of fun. And we've got some ammo here, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so it, it's interesting that they've added that into the game, but it's just there's no purpose to it, you know? Nice little checkpoint. Oh, great. Um, Somebody's screaming. I've also been looking at trying to get a Xbox, original Xbox wireless controller, but my god are they expensive. From what I've looked up, the best one to get is actually the Logitech Precision Controller. Kind of looks like a 360 controller in a way, but they go for about £70 on eBay, and most of them, there we go, most of them appear to be from America, so... You've got to pay import and duty and all this other stuff on top. So, yeah, uh, yeah, m maybe, uh, maybe not. Ah, we just walked through a mine. I forgot. This area is mined as well. Although, it is quite easy to see where the mines are. You can see these mounds of dirt here. They're the mines. So, although it is technically a minefield, I suppose. It's literally just one or two. Alright, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Oh, hello. Now, the best way to take these guys down, from what I've experimented with, well, is literally just using a charge, a full charge blast. It's definitely works. Now, it looks like we've got a grenade guy up here. Boom. Ah, oh, headshot. Yeah. Oh god, is there two grenade guys? Possibly? I want to be very careful that we don't stand in some mines by accident. Uh, we do have some lurkers that we can use if we need them. Oof. Right, we've got a bit of an issue here. Which is the same issue that we always seem to have in this game. That's ammo. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to these guys. Alright, this is getting a little bit delicate now. Oh, hello. Sniper rounds. Don't mind if I do. Now, Mrs. is in the other room playing Ghosts of uh, Tsushima. And man, oh man, does that game look good. So, after I've done this and hopefully finish this game, that's my plan. Go watch her play that. Hey, friend. Come on. Ah, oh, you dick penis. Oh no, we might have undone ourselves here. This gas is beyond lethal. At least it 
gets you into lethal uh, situations. Okay. Man, these guys just take so much to kill. It's pretty crazy. We've got some lurkers. We've got some snipers now. Uh, I guess we've got... We've got the blaster too, I suppose. Oh, God. Damn it. So what, this dick penis man here. But he's dead now. That's fine. Ah, oh, helicopters. Yeah, there's a lot of helicopters going forwards. A lot of helicopters. And when you're really low on ammo, they certainly present a problem. Come on. Oh, I can hear a grenade. Oh, Jesus. You. Still the grenades. Dude, come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, right. We got you. I guess we could just use a lurker. And hope it hits. Yep, yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, really don't like the lurkers. I really don't like them. They're just... I mean, it's a cool idea. And in theory, if the camera followed the lurker, it would actually have been a pretty useful weapon. But because the camera does not follow the lurker, it's uh, a really pointless weapon. Oh, hey guys. Alright. I can hear some... Ah, hello. Oh, nice. Get some shotgun through here. Just what we needed. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Uh, let's... Yes, smasher. Let's get the smasher out. When in doubt, get the smasher out, I suppose. Ooh, there we go. Yes. But, there's more. There's always more. My god, if, if you think we've seen a lot of enemies, you wait. They literally throw thousands of enemies at you. Every freaking inch of the way. It's absolutely insane. And we should be able to set these... Um, these chests off, but the hit detection very rarely ever works. Sadly. Come on. There we go. Keep picking these guys off at a distance. The only trouble is, like I say, with that charged shot, is it just tears through your ammo at such a crazy speed. But it is really useful. It's really useful. Oh boy. That did not sound like a cure, did it? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, boys. How are we doing? Apparently, they're doing well enough to kick me in the ass. Oh, come on. Come on. He's not dead. God, these guys take so much to kill. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't think the weapons do any less damage than they originally did. It's just getting the right spot, if that makes sense, is so difficult. And luckily, there's a lot of ammo here. A lot of everything. Which is pretty nice. I'll tell you what I would like. I'd like some more ripper ammo, though. Or spiker, I should say. Okay, maybe you can't destroy this. We definitely could on the um, previous levels. We got some more lurkers there. Lurkers are—they're uh, okay. They're nothing to write home about, though. All right, how are we doing? Oh God, we've got—we've got hostiles. We've definitely got hostiles. Ow. Yep, I bet all of the bodies have disappeared with all of the meat. Yep, the game definitely likes to do that. Which is unbelievably frustrating, as I'm sure you can imagine. All of your health that you really need just disappears. Not sure if that hit. That hit. Come on. Yes, not bad, not bad. It's 
think. Yeah. Alright. That's cool. We've killed the gunner. And that's fine. We can live with that. Oh, we got grenadiers. We got grenadiers. God damn it. Grenade bears. The only trouble with the grenade bears is when you're trying to back away from them. Quite often you'll walk into the scenery. And because you walk into the scenery, you die. I mean, of course you die. That's pretty standard for this game. Ah, hey shotgun dude. There, you fuck now, son. Ooh. Oh, wow, we have very little <laughs> in the way of anything, actually. Oh, God. Nah, -huh. cool story, dude. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, there's a lot of them down there. Did you just see something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did. You just saw me. Let's see what this guy can do. See, like, what, what's the point in that? Like, trying to guess where the enemy is. Yeah, you got to be cautious if you're a soldier, apparently. Otherwise, you get uh, loads of squibs shot at you. <coughs> squibs always reminds me of, um, like, something from Abe's Odyssey. Alright, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. Come on. See how inconsistent the damage is. Sometimes using the shotgun you can pretty much put them down in one shot other times it just it doesn't matter you can just you have to hit them about five six seven times range plays a little bit into it as well but not much and trust me this is gonna get on the last level it's just a slog man in fact, there's a city we're going to have to fight through in a minute. And after about three hours of trying to do it... Oh, hey, sir. I did... Yeah, we want permanent spiker. Now, permanent spikers and any permanent weapons do not run out. So that's pretty handy. Although you can never really pick what weapon you want to be permanent. Unfortunately. Uh, you usually get a choice of one or two. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's just go for the spiker. I mean, the spiker is a pretty good sniper weapon, and now we can just have like unlimited uses of it charged up. It oh, it is significantly better. All right, let's see if we can't destroy this because this thing will continuously keep popping out enemy troops and that's pretty much as annoying as you'd imagine not sure if we can hit it with this actually I hope so now I think you can actually because I've also discovered something something that's kind of annoying and interesting at the same time in regards to this game every vehicle Oh yeah, even though we have unlimited ammo, that just means it charges up slowly. Let's get some riffer action going on. Um, ooh. What's here? Yeah, so I made an interesting discovery. And that is... That even those big tanks that we come across, uh, I think we've only come across one of them. We can destroy those with standard weapons. In fact, using standard weapons on those things is significantly more efficient and better somehow than using explosive weapons. I don't understand the science behind it. I'm not going to try and understand the science behind it. Oh man, this thing can't have much health left. It really can't. You can destroy them, in case you're curious. And it's it really in your best interest to destroy them. Because man, man oh man, 
that thing will really ruin our day if we don't. But interestingly enough, these explosives don't really seem to do as much damage as you would think. There we go. Okay. Now, spiker. Now, if you have unlimited spiker ammo, it's a freaking sweet weapon. If you don't have unlimited spiker ammo, it's questionable, to be honest. And that's because you really want to be using it powered up. And powered up, you only have a few shots. Deceptively um, limited amount of ammo, actually. There we go. Come on. Yes, and you can give these enemies quite nicely with this weapon. It literally is probably the best weapon in the game. <coughs> like, or should I say the most universal weapon? Because it will put these guys on their ass so easily. Oh boy. Yeah. Yep. They're just going to try and roll us over. And if we're not careful, they will succeed. Ow. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. They're also airstriking us, which is really nice. Really nice of them. Oh, God. Okay. They didn't do that last time. They... Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Shit. Okay. Okay, that could have been worse. I did think that that would explode, but I was hoping it wouldn't, because it didn't happen when I was playing it earlier. Oh, dear. Yeah. Remember when I said they're just going to start throwing troops at you absolutely everywhere? Like in so many directions that you're, you're literally not going to know what's going on half the time. This is what we call unfair difficulty. Or just stupid difficulty. Move. And you can see, like, a lucky shot from an enemy will take a third of your health bar away. Again, I don't know how the damage is calculated. Because sometimes shots do an incredible amount of damage to you. And other times you seem to be able to shug off quite a lot. It's very inconsistent. But that's like the damage that you can inflict to enemies. It's incredibly inconsistent. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, okay, he's just in front of us. That's just him. One of these guys ain't too bad. Oh, bloody hell. I like the way these guys don't spawn in until you're literally right next to them. Yeah, I think that's the biggest, that's probably my biggest problem with this game. Apart from the fact that it's, in my opinion, way too long, there was no need for this game to be 20 levels. 20 grueling levels as well. Um, my other problem is the combat is just, it's needlessly irritating. You know, um... There's so many uh, enemy spawns that are the only serve one purpose, and that is to irritate you. And unless you know they're coming, they are just unfair. I think Ray should have been given like a small bit of health regen, just a small bit. You know, it doesn't have to regen uh, quickly, like Chief's Shield or anything. But just something. Because when you have to replay a section four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, just because it's just brutally unfair and you get bad dice rolls, that's poor game design. 
And I think that's where this game uh, lands. It's just very poorly designed. Well, at least we avoided the fortifications at the gates. Hey, wait a second. I know where we are. Military headquarters is right around. Look at that the grenade. We were nowhere near it, and it still nearly killed us. A little visit. Hit detection is wonky as. And, yep, getting stuck on objects as well. Which is a thing that happens in a lot of games. But this game does it to a hell of a degree. And remember, if you get stuck in this game, uh, for even a, a second, you're dead. So, that can be very frustrating. Um, now... Is this the worst game in the world? No, not at all. Um, there is some fun to be had here, but it's definitely, it's definitely a bad game. It had potential, but the potential was squandered. And you'll wait, wait until you see some of the later bits with the final boss. The final boss, oh my god. It's pretty fucking horrendous. And there's way more to it than you would have thought. Now this gun really has us pinned down. The only thing you can really do is try and destroy it. Luckily, we have unlimited charges with this weapon. Okay. Now those gun emplacements will destroy you in seconds. And you may see that in the next level. You literally, you know, if you don't know where they are, because it, they, they park a few of them around corners that you can't see. And you wouldn't know they're there unless you've played the level before. So you can be quite far um, past the checkpoint, quite far into a grueling battle. Only to be killed in about 0.6 seconds flat by something that you didn't even know was there. This battle will be very difficult. Allow me to assist you again. Yes, please. Now, thing is, um, we can have permanent ripper or we can have a shield. Or indeed we can have the spiker power up. Thing is, uh, I don't think we can use them because we've already got unlimited spiker. And because we've got unlimited spiker, that power up doesn't disappear to allow us to select the other one. So. Uh, no idea. See, I'm pushing the white button, but we can't use our new power up because we've got that. Again, like, these are just awful game design flaws. I don't really understand why you would give the player an option to have a power-up that's incompatible with their current setup. It just, I don't know, I get the feeling that this game just was not ready. In any stretch of the imagination was this game ready. Right, we need to destroy these guns, because if we're not careful they will destroy us in literal seconds. The only thing is... You've really got to mash that trigger, and that starts hurting your finger after a while. <laughs> it really does. Oh god, great, thanks. Yeah, my my um, fingers are actually really sore. The Xbox, uh, the OG Xbox's triggers are actually really tough to push down. There's a lot of resistance to them, and that's quite cool for certain games, but when it's a quick shooter like this, it's not good. But that's more, again, down to game design than anything else. There we go. Oh, God. I guess those gun turrets were unmanned, which gave us a little bit of leeway there. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? I think we're good. The Kulin generals are hiding in that building, but it's heavily shielded. They're probably multiple power forces. Find them. Get the fuck out of here. Power sources, eh? Okay. Now, 
And, and like I've said before, a lot of the weapons in this game are just not fun to use either. They're either weird weapons that just aren't that useful or they have a lot of irritating uh, mechanics to them. Like this shotgun thing that is absolutely useless if it's more than three feet away. You find yourself using the same couple of weapons because they're the only good weapons in the game. And good is, you know, a strong term. They're not necessarily good. They're just better than the others. <clears throat> right, let's destroy this. Okay. I guess they tried to do a lot of different things with this game, but unfortunately... They didn't really have the talent to pull it off. Or maybe they just didn't have the time to pull it off, you know? Yeah, I guess it's a bit pretentious to try and say they, they weren't skilled enough to do it. But it's definitely a unique game. I mean, I guess if that's a plus. All right, let's go. Really want to destroy these helicopters. Come on, baby. There we go. We actually got hit from that explosion somehow. Not really sure how. <coughs> Very long-winded um, kill animations as well when the enemies are dying. Take some getting used to as well. Because it's very difficult to tell when an enemy is actually dead. But, you know, 17 or 18 levels in. Wow, that hurts. You kind of get used to it. Basically, if he's not red anymore, he's dead. Fairly straightforward, I suppose. <coughs> there we go. Let's find the generals. Without her little army, the princess is nothing. Yeah, that would be cool. If this did actually get rid of her army. But uh, it does not. <laughs> no. Oh, hi guys. Bloody Burks. Beaming in all over the frickin' place. I don't even know. Oh, they're over there, I think. Yeah, hit detection in this game is awful as well, like trying to shoot around scenery and stuff like that. Uh, quite often, it just doesn't work. And then, like we've seen in previous bits as well, um, enemies that just straight up walk through walls, which is a bit weird. Now, these commanders, and uh, again, just nothing special. They're just standard troops. Get up. Get up, you... Oh, we did it. Bless him. Yeah, things are not going quite so well for these. These scenes here are really cool. Okay, so as you can see there, again, at the end of that level, there was no victory screen. It just plays the cutscene and kicks us into this. It's really strange. Um, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not really sure why at some levels have a finished screen and some don't. There we go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we return, well, I think we're going to have a little bit of a rampage through the suburbs. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.